sometimes we have a tendency to lose sight of our role in our own faith. See, last week we did part two of Fresh Start, and we talked about the whole idea of what a fresh start looks like when it comes to faith. It begins and ends with the person of Jesus. And if you're a Christian and you believe that, then I want to take it a step further and talk about what that looks like practically. And if you're not a Christian, I just really hope that this is helpful for you. But to do so, to, to kind of take it a step further, I want to go back to what we said a couple weeks ago in Fresh Start Part 1. Because the bottom line was that a fresh start begins by taking responsibility or taking ownership for where we currently are in some aspect of life. And, and I think the same is true for faith that if we want to grow, we have to take responsibility of where we are at in our faith right now. Sometimes I think we say like, oh, I want a deeper faith. I want to go deeper. But I think a better word rather than saying deep is perhaps saying making faith more personal. Because when faith becomes personal to you, you recognize that you'll only grow when you take it personally and nobody else can do that for you. It's moving from a consumer mentality to an owner mentality in your faith. And the most practical way you can grow in your faith is simply spending time with God. I think we like to chalk it up to being more complex or more difficult or, you know, we wait or, or expect for some profound conversation or message to change our life when in reality, a fresh start with faith begins and ends with the person of Jesus. And through Jesus, we have access to the God of the universe. Think about that. We have access to the God of the universe every single day. But it's our choice on whether or not we choose to spend time with him and invite him into our life. Sometimes we say, you know, I don't feel close to God and he just feels distant. And when I hear that, my, my first thought is, you know, are, are we spending time with him? And if not, then of course God feels distant from us. Think about it like this, you know, I know my mom loves me and, you know, we spend time together. But if I never intentionally went out of my way to invite her into my life, to spend time with her, regardless of how much she cared about me, I, I think that we would still grow distant in our relationship. And the same is true for God. It takes intentional spending time with Him. Now, some of you might be thinking, okay, well, what does spending time with God look like? And to be honest, it's probably different for everyone, and it changes over time as we grow in our faith, or that's what I've experienced in my life. Uh, for me today, what, what it looks like is I want to get up early before all the noise of the world, and so I get up and I make sure I make coffee, set my coffee pot the night before so I can just grind the beans and hit brew. And, and then I brush my teeth, grab my coffee, and then I sit down on the couch. And what I'll typically do is I'll just journal for a bit, talk about what I'm feeling or, or what, what's going on in my life, or was there something that happened yesterday that I want to process. And then I'll read scripture, and I just read till I bump into something that sticks out to me. And then with all that, I, I pray and I just surrender those things to God and say, God, I just want to invite you into these things and, and what's going on in my life and what's going on in my day. And that, that's kind of what time with God looks like for me. But again, it looks different for everyone. Where we can sometimes go wrong with it is when we get legalistic about it. And when that happens, we, we've lost sight of the purpose of this time and space, this important time and space in our life. And really, when you boil it down, it's a means to an end. The end being we, we grow in our faith and our relationship with God. But when we get too focused on the means, it just becomes a chore to us. We, we just want to check the box. We think reactively like, I need to do this, I need to pray, I need to read my Bible versus thinking proactively with it and thinking, you know what, I want to do this because I want to be with God and I want to invite Him into every aspect of my life today. I want to recognize that my life is better when I am looking through His eyes versus just through mine, and so it's spending time with Him to invite Him in, and that's thinking proactively. Think about it like this. You take a vine, you know, you plant a vine and it, it wants to grow upward, but if there's no structure for it to grow upon, it, it's not going to grow. But you put a lattice there and now the vine begins to grow up the lattice because it has structure to grow upon. And that's kind of like our faith. When we put consistent, intentional time in our day to spend with God, it's structure for us to grow in our faith and grow closer to Him. And over time, as we take our faith more personally, our faith shifts from being more about us to being more about God. You know, when I, when I first became a Christian, and probably for many years, you know, I heard the whole Jesus' greatest commandment, and it was love God and love people. And I think I heard that, but in my heart, I kind of interpreted that as God loves me, I should love other people. But the more time we spend with God, the more we begin to understand what loving God and enjoying God looks like. 
the other day I was running on Town Lake, and it's been kind of my new rhythm on Sunday mornings as we uh, haven't had church in person. So I was running on Town Lake, and I went, I got east of 35, and I saw this dock, and so I just paused my book and took my AirPods out, and, and I went and sat on this dock for a second, and I was just so in awe of that moment of the water, the stillness of the water, the trees around me, the people that were floating by, and you know, the people that were on the trail behind me. It was just a beautiful moment, and it was a moment where I just, I don't know, I was just in awe of God and how amazing and incredible He is. And it was one of those moments where we just get to enjoy God, and the more intentional time that we spend with Him, the more we discover moments like that, and we discover what loving God actually looks like in our faith and in our life. And this is really recognizing that what Jesus said is true, that he is the vine and we are the branch. If we don't prioritize him, we're left to our own vices. I don't know about you, but if if I don't prioritize God, I have a tendency to do damage to myself, to those around me. I lose sight of what's most important. And I, I have a tendency to blame others for my problems. This is what happens when we don't prioritize him. We're left to our own vices. But if we choose to wake up and instead prioritize him and invite him into our life, He produces the good fruit that we ultimately want to see. It's not something that we can do on our own. It's something that he does through and in us. And it's a result of seeing God clearly because of that relationship. And then we see ourselves clearly, which allows us to love ourselves and love other people like never before. And so with all this being said, wherever you're at in your faith, my challenge is this. I I want you to choose what you're going to sacrifice to prioritize God. We all have something that we have to sacrifice. I know for me, it's spending time on my phone. I have a really hard time waking up and not grabbing my phone, and so something that I have to sacrifice is I have to charge my phone outside of my bedroom, so I'm not tempted to do that. I'm not tempted to check work emails and things like that. Maybe for you, it's just gonna be sacrificing 30 minutes of sleep. Whatever it is, choose what you're gonna sacrifice because it's worth it to prioritize your relationship with God. The second thing I wanna say is, is don't try to be perfect. So often we go, you know, okay, here's what I'm going to do. Here's my regimen. Here's my process, and I'm going to wake up, and I'm going to pray for three hours, and I'm going to do this for four hours, and it's going to be amazing. And we do it for a couple days, and then we're we're tired, and, and life gets us, and so we give up, and we move on, right? Don't try to be perfect. God doesn't want perfection from us. He just delights in the fact that we want to spend time with him. So if you miss a day, if you miss a couple days, that's okay. Just continue to make investments towards prioritizing your relationship with God. My hope and my prayer for all of you is that you would grow in your faith, that you would experience a fresh start in your faith like never before. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you don't miss part three of Fresh Start this Sunday.